Norman's back now with a story about a sports icon known across the globe. Yeah, Jeff, this week Argentina and soccer fans the world over are remembering Diego Maradona. Re widely regarded as one of the best soccer players in the world, he was also human. But young players idolized what he could do with a ball, like Manny Lagos, who was young and now serves as Minnesota United Football Club's sporting director. He was a part of a conversation he and I had this morning. Diego was a huge star in the 80s, I think, for all soccer fans, especially for people like me that were just trying to find anything of highlights of soccer. And so um, the 82 and 86 World Cups were massively influential in terms of how it shaped how I look at the sport, how I think about it. And he was a global superstar. He was by far the best player in the world. Um, you know, arguably him, Pele, probably Messi and Ronaldo are, are, are the best, greatest of all time. So um, I think it's hard for this generation to understand how big of a star he was because right now we have this internet age where you could just get Messi Ronaldo highlights anytime you want. The entire country had three days of mourning. Um, everything shut down for three days. Uh, he comes from a very small poor town from the favelas of Argentina. He, he kind of is that type of athlete that gives people hope, you know, because he was such a genius and so brilliant. And he played with that kind of mentality that, you know, I, I think they called it mania, which is, do whatever it takes to win. And it resonates with people who are, are from neighborhoods, like do whatever it takes to get out. I know a lot came up about the the goal against England where had there been VAR back then, they might have uh, done that a little bit differently. Cheated. I mean, there's hands down, like he, he straight up cheated. And I think half the world looks at that in, in a dishonorable way. The other half is like, that's what you do to try to win. You do everything you can. Um, and then five minutes later, he scored what, you know, was deemed to be then, then the goal of the century. Um, which was unbelievable. He did not have the manicured image that a lot of global superstar athletes would have today. And in a way, I, I, I find that to be a little bit more authentic. There's something sad but refreshing that, you know, there, there are different types of star athletes out there. You know, some are flawed. Some have trouble dealing with uh, the pressure. And in reality was, for large parts of his career, he, he dealt with it in amazing ways. It just, he, he couldn't do it consistently. And um, I think after he was done playing, it really hit hard uh, in terms of his, his health habits. And, and really, um, you know, he had this kind of unique coaching career. He even coached the Argentine national team in the 2010 World Cup. Um, you know, they're, they, they have this like Diego cam uh, when he was in coaching in Argentina at his, before he died. And the whole camera was, nothing about the game was just on him the whole time which is just an example of what his life was like yeah with this summer being all about you know with the last dance we're talking all these global mm -hmm. sports superstars and to see the way that he handled things while also being a symbol for an entire nation i got that whole conversation uh, going online right now all right yeah it's all about being yourself too and i think that's what stands out from that conversation mm -hmm. all right thank you norman